Hello guys, welcome to the Train Parrot Bot Assistant. One of the things more exciting that we came up in the past year to manage better your bots. In the past year, we introduced Bot Assistant 1.0. People started using top 10 old rank. Some other people were using top 10 galaxy score. And in order to be managing your bots, you had to fill some forms where you have to put all the API keys to control the three commas account. The good news I have for today is that all those things are gone. But stick with me until the very end of the video, because today we are releasing Bot Assistant 2.0. I'm going to explain to you how powerful it is and how easy to use it became now that you don't need to use any form. Let's start with the basics. What is Bot Assistant? Bot Assistant is just this part of the bot name here. You give instructions in something that we are calling BAQL, Bot Assistant Query Language. We develop a language that in the bot name, we can give instructions to the bot of things that three commas by itself still cannot do. And we got started with Lunar Crash tokens, but there's a lot more to come from BAQL. So keep an eye on this channel. Make sure you subscribe because throughout 2022, we are going to be releasing more and more tools that they can do things to your bots following your own instructions. This example in this bot here called Seaweed2 is BAQL pair selection right? So the command says pair selection and is selecting from all the categories of tokens from Lunar Crash, the top five Lunar Crash Galaxy score. We have developed this reference here with examples of how to build things, how to give instructions to your bots. So here we have plenty of examples. Pair selection, give me the 50 sort by bullish sentiment. Or give me just Mimi coins, the 25 top with the highest daily percentage change in USD. So all these things are available, all these categories here and all these sorting things. We are working now on filters. So you can say, give me the top in the ranking of Galaxy score having at least this market cap or having these other things. But the question is, all I need to do for this to work is just to write this in the name. You need to have a subscription with the trading power. Each tier of subscription is going to give you a different number of bots that you can manage using Bot Assistant 2.0. You can get up to 250 bots that you can manipulate with the Bot Assistant. The maximum that you can get with a subscription at the moment is 100 bots. If you want to get to 250, you're going to have to get the NFT boosters. We have a way for you to get NFTs of trading parrots, which you can connect by using collab land into Discord in our server. And we have a way to know how many of them you have, because once you prove that you hold those NFTs, you can get to up to 250 bots. And people are asking very often why you don't give 300 bots to everybody running this whole setup for hundreds of users every hour is very expensive, guys. We pay very big bills to be able to run this thing. People think that this should be free. It could be free for a bunch of users, but when you have hundreds of users and you need to be manipulating hundreds of bots of hundreds of users, guess what? You have to pay massive bills to web services, you know, security, lots of things. And there's many people working on these things at the same time. This is no longer one person working on something and doing things from a single computer. So that's why we have to limit the amount of things that we can do. It's the same for three commas. Uh, they have to be putting a lot of horsepower in cloud services to be able to run all your boats. And that's why it's got a price. But by joining our community and by getting the NFTs, you're becoming a stakeholder of the training parrots. And of course, if you do that, we are always going to give you the best benefits. In this case, you're going to get more bots with more advanced and powerful tools that can make a bot from a loser bot into an amazing bot. So let's say you already wrote this instruction in your bot. How do we operate this thing? You're going to find that now we have introduced in this section here on three commas called three commas apps. We have an app 
and that's the bot assistant app which you can find around here once you launch this app and you connect it to your trading parrot account you're going to be able to enable the bot assistant once it's enabled it means that we are monitoring the bot names that you have in your account and if they start with baql it means that there are instructions that we need to follow how you know that the instruction that you're giving to your bot is correct let's say this instruction here we're going to copy paste this one and we're going to go to baql validator you can paste your instruction there and validate that is correct this is a correct instruction 50 tokens all categories sort by bus bullish sentiment now if we grab one that is invalid we paste it here and it says it's invalid now we are working apart from the validator on something that is called the vaql generator which means that you won't have to memorize how to write these instructions which by the way you can just copy from other people but if you don't want to have to write them you're going to be able to use the generator to fill a form that is going to output exactly what will be the code that you need to paste in your bot name your bot name can start with anything and end with anything but the baql needs to be untouched so we can find it and we will know where it starts where it ends i tend to put the baql at the end just because i can see it more easy and everything else in the beginning of the bot but you can do it in any order really it's working with btc pairs with usdt pairs with any pairs in any exchange is working with futures and Today we are announcing that it's also working on paper trading. So whichever allocation of bots you have in your account is going to work for anything. Let's look at the roadmap so you get an idea of what's coming. BA 1.0 was exactly what we released last year around September. Now recently we introduced BA 2.0, which means that this is connected directly from three commas. So directly from three commas, you can subscribe and subscribe your bots. You don't need to fill any Google form anymore, ever again. You don't have to give us any API keys. And now a few days ago, we introduced NFT boosters, which means that once you verify that you're holding certain amount of trading paros nfts by a discord we are able to tag you there with a special role that says that you hold them so you are a stakeholder in the trading parrot and therefore you get all these boosters let's have a look at some of the boosters if you are on a server you get up to five bots right but how many more you can get if you have nfts if you have nfts you can get as an observer five more if you have one nft or 10 or 15 as a VIP, you start with 50, but you can boost that to up to 80. VIP with gold and gold, they get the best perks. So they start with 100 bots. But as you can see here, if you have three NFTs, you can get to up to 250 bots. And these are the allocations specifically for pair selection. When we start doing signals, orchestration, and all the other tool set that's gonna come in 2022 with the bot assistant, you're gonna have also separate allocations and separate boosters applied depending on how many NFTs you get. And that's why we've been saying, if you are early adopter, if you've been in the channel and you joined a year ago, first of all, thank you, infinite thank you. And a way to say thank you is you got probably some NFTs for a couple of dollars and you're always guaranteed that you get the best allocation in every single perk you are always going to be first and you're going to get the best the frequencies that some people find that even more valuable than getting more bots it can also be boost with nfts if you only have observer for example you get once a day your bots updated but with the nfts you can reduce that from one day to only 18 hours or to 12 hours or up to four hours frequency is what you can get with observer brp and gold they already have the top of one hour now we are thinking in introducing faster updates to bot so maybe we are going to introduce a new perk where bots can be updated up to 
every 10 minutes. We're working in collaboration with Lunar Crash to get that done. These are the existing limitations of using the NFTs. Now, I find this so much easier to use because literally now all it takes is you copy this thing and you can paste it to any of your composite bots. You don't have to fill any form or anything. As soon as the bot assistant manager finds your bot with that thing, and you have certain allocation in terms of frequency, it's going to get updated. You don't have to do anything. We also have a system called self-service that you can visit and to make sure that things are working as expected, or you can troubleshoot yourself whenever you made a mistake. Let's say there is a typo here. You will go to self-service and it will tell you that this bot named this was not able to be updated because you had a typo there. Now it's very easy because you can copy this bot multiple times right? Let's say I click on this bot and I copy it and I copy it five times. As long as I preserve the name of the bot, all the bots are going to get the bot assistant to manage the tokens. So that's very convenient. It, you might be thinking, well, that's obvious, but in the past we have to fill a form every time we change a new bot. And that was really annoying. With this system, things have become much more simple to manage. Very soon the signals and the orchestrator are also going to be, we are going to be able to process them just by putting things in the name of the bot. We are gonna be able to say when the orchestrator fire, stop my bot just by adding something here, or I want to get the serpil signals sent to this particular bot just by putting a tag there. This is all in the works. Guys, if you like this content, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And the best thing that you can do for this channel is leave any comment. Bad comment, good comment, doesn't matter. All of them, they help the channel. So see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.